He's already done it. Congrats on the win, Pablo. Um, kind of a roller coaster of, of a game a little bit there, especially with you know the first 30 minutes. Obviously, didn't want to see those guys have to go out. Um, I guess what what was kind of uh, your mindset as things started to go maybe not the way you wanted, but then you ended the half on on what seemed like a, a good a good note, I guess. Yeah, I think again, I think getting results in in any league is there's so many variables to it and a lot of times we try to break it down to possession or shots on goal uh, there's so many there's an unlimited amount of variables and, and tonight having two guys go down in the first half is not something you ever planned for so the mindset from that point on is you know we got to make it to the 75th minute before we we unload we can't risk and so the conversation at halftime was is, you know making sure everyone's in a physical condition to be able to endure the to the 75 minute mark and I thought, you know, the guys that started the game and the guys that came into the game played a played a really good game. And I think defensively as a group, um, we're, we're doing a fantastic job and creating a lot of great opportunities in the counter. Um, just the commitment from the guys up front, you know, Saab, Andres, Rubio, Anderson, and then Danny, um, you know, is just really commit committed to, to making it difficult for teams to play. And in doing so, making it predictable for the guys behind them which then, you know, winning balls in the midfield. And I think the first goal is a great example of that. Um, Jasper, you know, intercepting the ball and, and, and combining with Danny and, and scoring a goal. So I, I think, you know, through all the hardship that we've been going through, um, there's definitely a, a, a lot of silver lining in, in, in the performances. And I think, you know, it's, it's great to, to put three very good performances, you know, back to back. So it's, it's, it's a, it feels good. Um, and I think it validates all the work. And then this is the second uh, game in a row you guys have won at home and also the second game in a row at home that you've scored three goals. What, what is it just about this environment, I guess, that you guys have been able to feed off? You know, I think in our league, um, home is a big advantage. Um, I think guys um, vibe off the fans who have been fantastic. Um, and, you know, I think, like I said, I think as a player, you play for that type of, you know, type of environment. And, and it really brings the best out of the guys. Um, and there's just a different vibe, obviously, here at home. So, um, you know, I, I think we learned a lot from those games, that, those points that we dropped early on. Um, but I think we're moving in the right direction. Enhorabuena, Pablo. El, el triunfo es el convencimiento, ¿no? Es el, el, el a pesar de perder la semana pasada, sales con el mismo equipo porque estás convencido de lo que estás haciendo, ¿no? Y, y yo creo que lo transmitiste y lo, y lo vimos en en la actuación del partido del, del equipo hoy, ¿no? ¿Cómo estaban convencidos de lo que hacían? Sí, no, yo creo que, como dije, los últimos tres partidos hemos jugado bastante bien con, 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 con el mismo grupo y para mí la confianza viene cuando se ve lo que va a hacer el compañero, los movimientos del compañero. Eh, tener un delantero que, que puede traer el equipo adelante y el otro, el otro delantero que estira el, la línea de, defensiva. Y pues lo veo durante la semana y lo vi los últimos tres partidos. Así, para mí es, un, es muy importante tener la confianza primero en uno mismo, pero también en los compañeros. Y este grupo andan muy bien. Claro, vamos a tener que hacer dos cambios la semana que viene. Pero yo creo que eh, la mentalidad del grupo eh, estamos muy bien en este momento. Una última cosa, Andrés Gómez hoy metió un gol, un golazo, pero aparte de eso, el crecimiento ha sido espectacular en tan poco tiempo, ¿no? La confianza que le ha dado al, al chico es tremenda, ¿no? Sí, yo creo que también hay, hay cosas fuera del fútbol que afectan jugadores, ¿no? Yo creo que ha encontrado un grupo con varios compañeros, se juntan para comer, eh, toman clase de, de inglés juntos, eh, eh, muy, muy, eh, se ha acercado mucho con el Anderson y el, el Saba y el Brian Vera y son como, son como hermanos afuera de la cancha y yo creo que eso le da mucho confianza uh, para, afuera del campo pero también cuando está jugando es, es como son, son, son hermanos y yo creo que eso ha ayudado bastante y también en nuestro entrenador de arquero Nacho Hernández los, los, los lleva a comer a todos uh, los latinos 
y, y, y eso son cosas muy importantes, especialmente pa, para un pibe que viene de Colombia y está en un país nuevo para, por la primera vez en, la, en su vida. All right, um, a couple of questions, obviously talking within the game, last week's game, they came out with the same team today. Um, the question was, you obviously like that lineup and what you saw in that group to bring them out today. Yes, I think the last three games we have played together with the same group and the confidence comes when you see the movements of your teammates having a forward that we know is going to bring your team forward and a defender that's going to defend. Um, the team also has confidence and this group is doing well. Obviously, two changes we'll have to make for next week, but the group mentality is great. Next question is in regards to Andres and his playing and development here. Um, of course, there's things outside of football that affect the game. He's doing better, though. He has a good group of friends, is taking English lessons, and has gotten very close to Anderson and Brian Vera, and that gives him confidence and has helped a lot. And Nacho, our, our co one of our coaches, takes everyone out to eat. All of the Latinos, they all go out to eat. And um, obviously, having that is definitely important. Hey, Pablo, congrats on the win, and, uh, and thank you for your time. Um, I feel like it was, it was a bit of a rough start to the season, some really tough games, some tough weeks for the team. As of late, the team has been playing a lot better. Um, this might be a little bit of a difficult question, but are you able to identify maybe one or two things that kind of have changed? And, and from your perspective, what you see that's helping the team really click right now? You know, I, I think we all want things to go uh, in, a, in, a, in a vertical trajectory, um, whether it's off the field or on the field. And, and really, life and sport are all about overcoming obstacles, you know? And I think um, we didn't get off to the start that we wanted. Um, you know, and I said to the guys, you know, uh, last year we had a flying start, one of the best in club's history. And we had a battle in the last game at home to get in the playoffs. So it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish. And, 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 and just seeing, w one of the biggest things I've seen is, is really Saverino's mentality, um, which has a direct correlation to his play. And, and he's really, um, I've never seen him work so hard defensively. Um, and, and again, it's, it's, I don't know if it's cliche, um, but defending is about team. Attacking is about individuals. And when you bind to the team, it's amazing how the game rewards you with great attacking opportunities. And, and he's capitalizing on it. He's putting his, you know, against Dallas, he put his head where, where few want to put it, um, being one of the smallest guys on the field. And so he's been a huge catalyst uh, to, to everything we're doing. And, and when he's in a good way, I feel like the group's in a good way, um, you know, and, and on the offensive side. And then the guys in the back have been just stalwarts. And the guys in the midfield have been the engine room that, that we anticipated having. So again, I, I, we speak about individuals at times, but it's really about the collective mindset um, that's really, and because and again, I can have all the belief in the world. If they don't believe it, we're not moving forward, right? And, and, and I think it's, it's a testament to the, to the characters of the guys in the locker room um, and, and the experience, leadership in there. Um, that, that really drive this thing forward. Demir Krylock, uh, coming off an injury, notably on the bench, available for this game today. Was the decision to, to not play him or give him any time today on the field, was that a tactical decision, or was it kind of health-related as well? Yeah, I think it was a little bit of both, right? Uh, so Dami sat out for a week um, and putting him into this game. Um, you know, there's there some, some questions about, you know, how we, he'd respond being out for a week. Um, but also tactically, you know, we had to make a, a right back sub, which wasn't anticipated. We had to make a midfield sub, which wasn't anticipated. And then we had one, one attacking sub that we wanted to make. And, and Chang being the, um, the, the consummate professional, uh, up a game, up a goal, just, he's just a, a, the way he defends from that advanced position is fantastic. Um, and so every game, um, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll provide us with the changes that, that are necessary. You know, it, it would have been great to get Dami out there, um, but, it, but again, I think it's, it's important for us at this time to make sure that we're doing everything to, to secure the three points. Lastly, on a short week, you, uh, your, your team plays Las Vegas Lights in Vegas uh, midweek for the Open Cup game. Um, could you kind of let us know on, on what we are to expect for the team as far as lineups go and, and how you're kind of handling uh, that, that quick turnaround? Well, again, I think today, uh, you know, losing two guys today um, definitely changed a little bit of that, and and we got to be cognizant of uh, of the season as well. But uh, 
you know, like I told the guys after the game, it's a short week. We want to make a run in this tournament, you know, and, and, and you know, last year I don't think we had the, the ability to do that um, for a multitude of reasons. I, I think this year we're, we're, we're putting a, a strong, a, a really strong team. And uh, it's something that, uh, that we've talked about internally that, that we want to make a go. Um, and so it's, again, it, it'll give some guys that haven't had as many runs, but there's going to be a, a wealth of experience on the field as well to, to make sure that we protect some of the younger players. Um, but there, there will be a, a wealth of experience and a, and a very good team on the field. Hey, Pablo, solid performance from the team tonight. Obviously, a couple early substitutions. I know you touched on it a little bit already. Um, how do you feel like that impacted the game, and, and how do you feel like the team responded to those early changes? Yeah, I mean, it definitely impacts the game. There's, there's never a time where you plan on making a sub uh, before half uh, for two reasons. One, uh, and the most important one is you, you burn uh, what, you know, two of your three subbing opportunities. Um, but, it, but again, you have to adapt, and I thought the guys adapted well, and uh, they were dialed in on, on both sides of the ball. So um, again, uh, you can't control some of these things. These are these are these are outside influences. But the way we can control them is with the mindset and our ability to go out there. And the guys that, that step on the field do a great job. And like I said, every single one of those guys that stepped on the field did a, did a really good job. Pablo, thanks for the time as always. You've talked about the subs now. What does Diego Luna have to do to get on the field? Because this felt like a really positive opportunity for him to see some minutes. Yeah, like I said, there's 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 a case to be made for every guy in that locker room. I, you know, I don't have I don't have a favorite player. I love all of them. They all provide something unique, and and so through the course of the week, you you assess you know best position, opponent, how it's going. But for me as a coach, the most important thing is chemistry. It's not about an individual player. It's about how does this player affect the group and and how in in, in both the good and the bad, right? Because every player's got has to have a weakness. And so the way I looked at, you know, it's, it's not about giving Diego Luna a shot in this game. It's about putting the guys on the field that we need to to win the game. Because, again, you can make a case for Demir. You can make a case for Miriam, who had assist last week, right? And so every player is, deserves to be out there. And the difficult thing is not being able to play 30 players. That's, that's the most difficult thing. Um, and, you know, again, like I said, we want to make a run in this cup. I think, you know, Diego will get a run on Wednesday and uh, with, with, again, surrounded by some, some experienced pros and look forward to, you know, giving us some minutes in the midweek game. Yep. No. Si salen el primer tiempo, me imagino que no andan bien. O sea, si era una lesión, el Anderson es un jugador muy dinámico, muy rápido y siempre, por lo menos un, una vez por año, tiene la misma lesión. Y el Vera dijo tampoco que podía arrancar para hacer sprint. Y para mí me, me, me imagino que va a tomar un, un, una semana para recuperarse. Uh, question was just in terms of the two injuries today, um, if we think they're bad injuries, uh, if they had to come out of the game, I would imagine they're a little bit complicated. Anderson is a very dynamic player, very fast, and at least once a year he tends to have an injury. Vera said he couldn't sprint, so that's kind of what we're looking at approximately a week till. Congrats on the win tonight. Um, th three goals in the past get three games for Severino. What do you, what does he bring to the club that you in absolutely enjoy? Um, again, he's 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 a killer in front of goal. Like, you know, a lot of times you want to teach people to score goals. Um, he's got the obviously he has the technique to do that, and a lot of players around the world have the technique to do that. It's really an instinct and a real desire. Um, and like I I said earlier about his his go the goal that he scored in Dallas. That's not one where he's on the ball. That's him off the ball, putting his head in, in a dangerous spot to get it knocked off, right? A lot of guys don't even dare go into those spaces. And so he's got this real drive um, to score goals. And then when you do that, the, the effect that it has on, on defenses allows space for other teammates to get on the ball. And, and so that's what great 
attacking players do is they create opportunities for themselves, but they also open up space because of the psychological threat that he's going to get on the board. And so, you know, I think Saba last year had there was a big learning curve coming into our league, coming into the team, coming into the way we want to play. I, I think in the last three games, he's he's really been a catalyst. Uh, in, and again, everything that we're doing from an attacking perspective, and now you're seeing his work defensively, which is tremendous for the team. Uh, Pablo, felicidades por la victoria. Uh, fue un partidazo el que hizo el Real Salt Lake hoy. Uh, me gustaría saber cómo está el ánimo del equipo para enfrentarse el miércoles en Las Vegas y viene un duelo muy importante contra Seattle, ¿no? que es es uno de los derbis, por decirlo así, ¿no? Uh, ¿Cómo está el ánimo? ¿Cómo se encuentra el equipo? ¿Y, y, y cómo, cómo ha mejorado el equipo esta, esta victoria? Eh, yo creo que para mí eh, el equipo está en un, en un momento bueno. Estamos jugando bastante bien. Eh, el, el partido contra Dallas jugamos muy, muy bien pero no sacamos el resultado. Y para mí veo un equipo que, que tiene mucha potencia, que en este, momen, en este momento estamos fuertes mentalmente, físicamente, estamos jugando con calidad, con el balón, y ya esper, eh, tenemos mucha experiencia con partidos que no fueron como quisimos, pero en este momento estamos, eh, yo creo que el equipo está muy bien. Eh, psicológicamente. Eh, yo creo que el partido, eh, como dije, queremos hacer, eh, queremos competir en esta Copa del US Open Cup en, en una manera diferente que el año pasado. Creo que tenemos los jugadores para, para, hacer, un, 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 para hacer un buen trabajo en el torneo y, y, y para ganar. Y ese, ese es el, el desafío del grupo, eh, prepararnos en los próximos días para, para ese partido. Y también enfrentar un Seattle al fin de semana que viene, eh, que, que andan muy bien. Y yo creo que es otro partido jugar en casa que jugar de visitante. Creo que vamos a estar listos para, para, para Seattle. I would like to know what the team mentality is at the moment, especially going into Vegas on Wednesday and against Seattle next weekend. How's the team doing right now and how have they improved? I think for me, the team is going through a positive moment right now. We are, we are playing well. In the game against Dallas, we played very well. We just didn't get the results. For me, I see a team that has a lot of potential that is strong mentally and physically. We are playing a quality game. We did have games that didn't go our way or the way we wanted, but right now the team is doing very well. We want to compete in the Open Cup differently than what we did last year. I believe we have the players to do it, and we want to win. That's our goal, to prepare for that game and also to go against a Seattle team that is doing very well. Hey, Dylan, on Zoom, uh, you're up. Hey, Pablo, just um, circling back a little bit on, on um, Andres, the, you, you mentioned kind of his, his acclimation and how that's been going, which has been a positive for you. What, uh, a two-parter, what, what do you think, um, I know sometimes potential is a dangerous word, but what, what do you think of his potential? And, and also, do you think he's kind of a perfect complement to, to Severino? Yeah, no, I think uh, his potential is just, you know, he, he, he's got all the tools to be world class. Uh, I think one of the one of the things coming from Colombia, they, they played a different scheme. The, the style of play is different. Um, our league's much more transition based. Um, there's there's a lot more structure in the attack. And those are things that he's he's learning as he's going. Um, understanding the, the, you know, the, the channels that we want to occupy in the attack. If our outside back's in the wide channel, he's occupying the, 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 the half space. And then after that, it's really his movements that have to occur a lot earlier than they're occurring. Um, and that's why I think now he's finding a lot of success in transition. Uh, because again, the game's open at, at that point, and then it, he's not really thinking. So I think he's got all the tool sets. His 1v1's great. His ability to work back is fantastic. You know, the goal he scored tonight kind of speaks for itself. I think he's a player that a lot of people don't realize. He, he's, and he took a couple shots in the first half. He, he's, he, he can really strike the ball and, and does it with both feet. Um, and, his, and, and the other part of his game, I think that we, 
need to continue working on his running without the ball. You know, I think in the, the you know all the stuff that we saw from from Columbia was him running with the ball, and he's a player that has the ability um, and just needs to break that bring that into his game and, and make that a bit of a habit. But but again, I think you know Andres could be a world class player, and um, you know is that in the next three years? Is that four years? Is that next year? You know, like you said, potential is a, a dangerous word, and I think if he keeps trending in the in, in the direction that he's moving in I think he's he's going to be a, a, a fantastic player in this league and then just the, the compliment to, to oh, you think? yeah no I think it's fantastic you know the, the way the way we're set up is um, our creativity comes from our from from one of our wings right so Saba um, when he plays Miram when he plays they have the uh, the freedom to really find the the half space. Um, and central channels as well, because uh, we always have two forwards pinning high, and so Saba, so that position on on the left wing in particular is 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 a creative, uh, more flexibility, um, and and th and our setup that's that's where I like to have our creative players, and so on the opposite wing, you have more of a Chang, you have uh, Andres, which are more direct, more getting in behind the back line. And so the way we're set up, I, I think the compliment of uh, for Saba is is Andres. And and the great thing too is they have a really good understanding uh, of each other's movements, and they look for each other. Um, and and so I think it's a it's a, it's a real nice combination to have. One last question, and then maybe we can wrap up. Okay, so for Wednesday. We see, well, lately we see in the team that has been coming on, we're more hungry, wanting the ball, wanting to control the game, and wanting to just get up there. You know, for Wednesday, I would expect in the same 10, and if, if it goes well, are you planning to give priority to more to that cup, or you, are we still fighting for everything? I, I think the, 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 the tricky thing um, is, is, is striking the right balance. You know, I think every team goes through that. Uh, you, you, wanna, you wanna make sure, um, that you're not putting players at risk minutes-wise, but you also want to compete the right way. Um, so guys that played a lot of minutes, and again, our, our physical numbers in the last three games have been very high, um, and I think it shows in, in the performances. Um, and so it's always striking a balance of guys that are playing well, um, but not getting the minutes for whatever reason, um, and then bringing in a couple guys that are getting regular minutes as well to kind of to, to, to kind of steady the ship, um, and and I think that's that's always um, a balance to juggle around, and and then with that, you know, the the fact that we lost two guys today in the first half is is changes that a little bit, and and we'll just have to figure out the right setup and the right guys to to be able to approach that game midweek the right way. Thanks, guys. Kind of a unique celebration, just like kind of uh, ca ca calm, uh, and may maybe a couple different things going on there. What, what went through your mind, I guess, as soon as, soon as that goal went into the net? Uh, I didn't even see the ball hitting the net, so I was like very confused because I was like <laughs> rolled over, and then I just like saw the fans cheering, so I was like, oh, okay, I think that went in. So, and then just I don't know what I did, just let emotions run. You know, it's always nice to to score. Uh, it's not my specialty, I would say, but especially at home, I never had that feeling, and just emotions took over, and like I just felt like, yeah, I show off something, I don't know, and that's what what came out of it. So yeah, guys always make fun of my biceps being bigger than my quads, so uh, I felt like maybe I showed that off, but yeah, it was just a joke, kind of yeah. Yeah, and then you kind of touched on the other. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention, which is playing at home and just kind of like the energy that brought. I mean, you guys have gotten back-to-back -back wins at home, <coughs> scoring goals, uh, a lot of goals at home. What is what is it about this environment that you guys are kind of feeding off right now? Um, I feel like 
like we felt it last year and I, I think we just want to have that feeling back kind of of getting the crowd involved and just bringing the game to the opponent and don't like really sit back. Uh, it was a tough game today because I thought San Jose did a really good job of just moving the ball so it was like very difficult to like get our pressing situations right and all that stuff but uh, I feel like we managed the game well finally. I think that's like we have to to take advantage of that a little bit more and just like try to manage games a little bit better, let them maybe have the ball for a little bit better, try and rest a little bit more and don't go all, uh, all out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really about just bringing, bringing the crowd back, bringing bring the fans in the stadium, get a, get a sold out again, just have that energy that anybody who comes in here just feels, yeah, unwelcome, you know, like just, it should be hard for anybody to come here and just get some points. And I feel like we haven't made it hard enough on a couple of teams who came here uh, end of last season and beginning of this season. So uh, just hope to get back to that standard that we have for ourselves to just wherever or whoever is coming here, uh, yeah, be ready for, for a fight for 90 minutes. Uh, Jasper, congratulations. It's Thank you. just an experience. It's not only you. I was calling the game and it say go and I'd say, Hey, it's go. Yeah, yes, it's go. Go. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> was very impressed. Everyone say, Yes, it's go. So and it was a very, very good shot. So um, what happened in your mind when you got ball? So just kick on the ball. Um Yeah, it's um I played it to Danny. So we I like got the ball, read the QL, played it out to Danny and just like continued my run and he had the option to go left or right and he chose me. I thought the ball was a little wide, so I like had to curve my run again. And like when I look up it's I'm right footed. So my initial thought was curling it around the goalkeeper, like front post. But uh I felt like he like he made it hard on me to like take that option. So my second option was always and I talked to to Tomas, our second goalie, all the time. Because we do a lot of shots and and he's like the like most annoying thing for a goalie is if you hit it really hard right next to like anywhere around his head area because most of the guys like when they come out if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation they have like a reaction safe on it or something so i just don't want to give him that opportunity and just try to hit it as hard as i could like right next to his head somewhere and uh yeah fell over because i just try to hit it as hard as i can and yeah I, I, Broke a camera too, I think, but <laughs> I hope I don't get fined for that. But yeah. Huh? We hear from we hear from Pablo, but uh, what about you guys? Is, uh, the expectation for the next game and Wednesday the open cap? Oh, like <laughs> make it better than last year for sure. Uh, I feel like we have we had a lot of a lot of good players, a lot of depth in the team, and I think like maybe rotation is going to come in and maybe give other guys a chance as well, like we did last year. But um. The way we practiced over the last two, three weeks was, was outstanding. I feel like you couldn't really tell tell the difference between the guys who are starting and the guys who are coming in. Uh, I mean, you've seen it today with, with Danny uh, coming in after like 20 minutes and Oviedo, he's ready anytime. So it's always good to, to have the guys out on the pitch and I feel like they, they will take a chance. They want to prove something as well. So uh, whoever whoever's playing that Wednesday match is, is going to be 100% all in. Uh, I mean, it, it's a cup, you know, it's not, not a friendly game where you, where you try and just kick around or something like it's a cup. You want to you wanna go far, you want to win something this year. So uh, I feel like we didn't manage to get it last year. So uh, this year we have, to, we have to step up our game a little bit better, I feel like, a little bit more. And uh, yeah, really bring the game to them and, and go, for, go for the win. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, congrats on the goal. Great goal. And uh, we've seen your game improving a lot on the past um, couple of games, especially with the formation that we've been doing. Um, besides the incredible goal that you had today, I wanted to ask you the incredible connection that you're having with Pablo Reyes. How is that? How do you guys go in training? How do you guys talk about it? And obviously because of the language barrier in there. Um, I feel like me, Pablo, and, and Marcello have like a really unique bond uh, coming from last year into this year as well. Uh, we do a lot together. So uh, it's just, I am really take pride in, in playing next to not only those two guys, but like especially the other other guys as well. And uh, if you see the quality we have out on the pitch, I just feel like I have to to like be on my top level to get out the best on of them as well. You see Saverino, uh, you see Andres out there, who's, who's warming up, who's getting more and more confident. Uh, he scored his first goal as well. I uh, was just like so happy for those guys and 
as long as I can do my job and, and get the best out of them and they don't have to worry about defending that much, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Uh, with Pablo next to me, I just feel, feel really confident because we're like, we are kind of similar in, in, in the way we go about games. It's like uh, ride or die kind of thing, you know, like leave it all on the pitch. Uh, sometimes maybe being a little bit too aggressive, a little bit dirty as well, you know, make it hard on the enemies. But I feel like that's, that's what a game needs sometimes, you know, as well. I uh, didn't didn't agree on the yellow card today, but it is what it is, you know. But uh, I feel like with us in the midfield, like we rotate so much, we we try to cover so much ground. I feel like it's just a a, a good thing going, and uh, yeah, the connections get better over time. Like I feel like we have a good group together now. Uh, we get more and more in a routine kind of thing as well, because we don't have that much rotation like we did in the first couple games sometimes. But um, yeah. I just hope to to keep building on that. Hope to keep keep winning more and more games and and get the thing rolling. Yeah, Asper, thank you for your time today, and um, congrats on the goal as well. Um, the question that I have for you is just kind of about uh, like the contrast of, of the beginning of the season and and now where you guys are at. Um, Obviously, the beginning of the season was very difficult for you guys. You mentioned um, a couple of weeks ago, I think, that you, you learned a lot from kind of those difficult days and those difficult times. Can you kind of just talk about um, like how the team is feeling now in the locker room and, and how the team environment is, uh, despite the loss last week against Dallas? I thought the team played pretty well. Mm -hmm. Like, How is the, the team feeling right now after a, a good result tonight? Um, yeah. Like, I feel like you always have to see it in perspective, kind of. Like, uh, if, if you look at the games we had at the beginning of the season against, let's say, uh, Columbus or even St. Louis, I feel like we kind of let ourselves down a little bit. And if you look at the result last week against Dallas, it's also a loss. But like you said, we felt quite confident, as you can say, um, about the performance. Uh, we just, yeah, really learned in a kind of way that if we play the way we play if we trust the system that we're playing the formation and if, and if we trust like in each other and the abilities and like all the things that that make our guys special the way they are um we are pretty pretty decent team in this league we're pretty pretty hard to play against and pretty pretty good to like going offensively as well and, and score some goals so um just kind of the focus for us really lies on remembering that and just like don't let that confidence slip away again like it did maybe in, in the first couple of games I don't know if that was 100% the case but I feel like right now there's more of like a more of like a automatism kind of like people take people on 1v1 uh, you go in for tackles where you would normally hold back uh, you see you see guys just just doing their thing what they're good at you know just letting all that that stuff going and uh, yeah, I just feel like from from players to coaching staff, it just looks like a really good job over the last month, I would say, to to really commit to that process, to dig ourselves out of that hole. I don't think we've done it yet. I still feel like there's a lot of games to be played. You can't really tell if if, if we made it over the top right now, you know, but uh, I feel like we're on a really good way and just hope to keep that thing going. Thank you. Thank you. Couple more questions for Jasper. Are you guys good? Okay, we're good. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do Gomez and uh, Severino likely together. So give us a minute to set up for that.
Ok, muchachos, felicitaciones. Eh, presumíamos la, en el juego pasado que eran goles sudamericanos y ahora podemos decir también. <ríe> Los dos marcaron, felicidades. Eh, Andrés, ¿cómo te sientes en este momento después de conseguir lo que me imagino estabas buscando? Y felicidades también, Jefferson. The question was, well, congratulations. Hola, Last hola. game it was all South American players that scored. And tonight, once again, we can say the same. Um, Andres, how do you feel to what I imagine to be something you've been seeking this entire time? No, pues, primeramente, gracias a Dios por conseguir ese primer gol. Y pues, no, muy contento, porque hace rato lo venía buscando. Pateaba de todos lados. Estaba ansioso por... por encontrar el primer gol y gracias a Dios soy yo. First of all, thank God for getting my first goal and I'm very happy because it is something I've been seeking. Um, I've been seeking that goal left and right and thank goodness it did happen tonight. Uh, Jefferson, preguntarte eh, con respecto a que llevas tres partidos anotando goles, tres partidos consecutivos anotando al menos un gol, eh, ¿cómo te ha caído el sistema de juego de Pablo después de eh, pues un inicio de temporada complicado? Eh, ¿Has sabido llegar más en línea de fondo? ¿Te ha, has mejorado o has estado entrenando para definir mejor también? El de hoy fue un muy buen gol, por cierto. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que has estado trabajando para poder eh, conseguir esa posibilidad de poder estar anotando goles con, con tu equipo. The question was for Saba, three games and you continue to score goals. How has Pablo's system worked after a tough start to the season? You guys have played deeper and have gotten better and today that was an incredible goal. Um, what have you been working on to be able to consistently score? Eh, bueno, si pienso que como dijiste tuvimos un mal comienzo de, de temporada, sin embargo ganamos en Vancouver y luego de ahí no habíamos podido ganar. Pienso que pasaba más por confianza de, de todo el grupo. Eh, cuando todo el grupo tiene confianza creo que individualmente llegan las cosas. Y bueno, agradecerle a Dios por, por marcar por tercer partido consecutivo. Espero seguir mejorando, seguir aprendiendo eh, todos los días y ayudar al equipo, que es lo más importante. is yes like you said we did have a tough start Vancouver we won but hadn't been able to win since but it's a confidence thing across the entire team we do have confidence among each other and amongst ourselves things have continued to come in into tact and I thank God for being able to score in multiple and consecutive games uh, felicidades a ambos por, por los goles y por el juego no um, mi pregunta es para Saba uh, como decía el compañero, llevas tres eh, partidos consecutivos marcando. Esta semana fue muy buena para la sub-17 de Venezuela, que clasificó a, a su mundial. Eh, con tu aporte y lo que puede aportar la sub-17 y, y la mejora en, en el fútbol venezolano, eh, ¿cómo crees que se prepara la selección vino tinto para, para el próximo mundial y las eliminatorias? Sí, sí, pienso que... <coughs> Bueno, esta es una pregunta de la selección. Eh, creo que la selección en los últimos partidos ha estado muy bien. Eh, y bueno, primeramente felicitar a la SU-17. Eh, creo que hicieron un, un gran esfuerzo eh, con poco tiempo que llevaban con el entrenador. Felicitarlos a todos. Eh, y bueno, invitarlos a que sigan aprendiendo. Sabemos que son jóvenes todavía, pero que tienen un futuro por delante muy, muy grande. Y por supuesto que esto nos puede ayudar eh, más adelante en la selección mayor, que está en un gran momento también la selección. Esperemos y esto podamos llevarlo a, eliminato a la eliminatoria para, para poder llegar bien. Question for Sava um, in regards to Venezuela and the 17 national team as they classify for the World Cup. 
um, Sava's response to that was, I think the team in the last few games has been really well. Congratulations to them. In the short time that they've been with their coach, they've been able to get a lot done. I hope they continue to grow and take this opportunity to grow. And I think they have a bright future ahead. And of course, this can help the national team for us in the future. Um, thank you both for your time tonight and congratulations uh, as well um, on the win. Um, my question is for, is for Andres. Um, what did it feel like getting, getting your first goal here in front of the fans? Um, and, and how long have you been working on that, uh, that celebration? Andres. <laughs> <laughs> ya sé qué van a decir. Um, ¿Cómo te sentiste de anotar tu primer gol aquí en casa? Y um, háblanos sobre la celebración después. ¿Y cómo? La celebración después, tu baile. Pues, como dije, primeramente muy contento porque lo estaba buscando. Más sin embargo, había varias asistencias. Y pues no, <coughs> de la emoción no, no sabía qué bailar. <laughs> Bailar lo último, porque Ruyo se me acercó, pero quería bailar con, con la afición para que fueran aprendiendo un poquito. His answer. I'm very happy because it's something I've been wanting to do. I've been seeking that goal, but I've also been able to get assists. And obviously, with all the emotions running through, I didn't know what to dance to, but I knew I wanted to dance. I ended up dancing at the very end. Um, yeah, and in I ended up, <laughs> gracias. He ended up dancing at the very end because I did want to dance with the fans just to teach them a little bit. My question's for uh, Andres. Um, congrats on the goal tonight. Uh, you seem to get a lot more comfortable as the season has gone on, as, as you've gotten some more games under your belt. How do you feel like you're starting to fit into the team and, and the system as a whole? Felicidades, obviamente. Um, si se te nota que estás más confortable y cómo piensas que tu juego, uh, cómo, cómo te has ajustado aquí con el sistema y todo eso. No, pues muchas gracias. <coughs> No, pues un gol, pues sea como sea, le da más confianza a uno como jugador. Y pues poco a poco he venido tomando la confianza que me han dado los compañeros, Sabarino, Anderson, pues eh, me han ayudado, me han aconsejado en muchas cosas. Y pues el profesor me ha acogido, el grupo, a pesar de, de que hemos tenido errores en la cancha. Y no, pues bien. Contento con el grupo por, por cómo me están dando la confianza y poco a poco voy a ir soltando mi nivel que, que tenía. One goal in whatever way you get it definitely gives you confidence. And little by little, I've been gaining confidence with my teammates like Sabarino and Anderson. They've helped me a lot and advised me on a lot. Of course, we've made mistakes, but we keep it moving. I'm very happy with this group and that, and that they're able to give me that trust. I have a question uh, for Jefferson now. Um, Jefferson, it's it, obviously it's, it seemed like you've you've really enjoyed playing up top, um, but can you kind of talk about your chemistry with your teammates right now and and how that's all working for you and uh, and playing up top with some speedsters um, like like Anderson and uh, and uh, and like um, and Andres up top? How is that playing with kind of a faster paced offense? Saba, ¿cómo te ha gustado jugar hacia arriba? Y obviamente jugando al lado de Anderson y Andrés, ¿cómo te has sentido especialmente en la ofensiva? ¿Y cómo está el ambiente entre el equipo, entre ustedes? Eh, por supuesto, cuando se gana el ambiente eh, mejora. Eh, me siento bien jugando con Andrés, con Anderson, con Rubio, eh, con Dani que entró hoy. Eh, muy feliz de, de jugar con ellos, estamos entendiendo, ¿no? poco más de dentro de la cancha y eso es muy importante. Lo sabemos que tenemos muchas cosas por mejorar, siempre lo digo, aprender en los entrenos, en los partidos, eh, seguir mejorando y bueno, sé que más adelante llegarán más goles y más asistencia para nosotros. 
everything gets better, of course. After wins, it's even better when we all feel great, especially with Anderson and even Rubio. We're understanding more um, what to do inside the pitch, and that's important. We know we have things to work on, and we always say that during trainings and during games, and important things to keep improving, and we know more goals will come. Andrés, una pregunta para ti. Eh, pues has hablado un poco con respecto a tu adaptación al, al fútbol aquí en la MLS, pero ¿cómo ha sido para ti ahora la adaptación a una vida diferente de Colombia a Estados Unidos? ¿Y qué tan importantes son tus compañeros en tu equipo para ayudarte a, a adaptarte en eso? Porque es importante, eh, claro, adaptarte aquí para poder comprender también y sentirte más como jugando en una liga tan diferente como es la MLS a cómo se juega el fútbol en Sudamérica. The question is for Andres, obviously you've talked a little bit about adapting yourself to the style of soccer here within MLS. How has it how has that been like for you and just generally a different life from Colombia to the United States? How important has it been for you to have your teammates to rely on in this process and being able to further understand the game? Pues con respecto a lo de, sobre lo de la adaptación, pues al principio fue muy complicado para mí, pero <ríe> poco a poco con, con la amistad de, de Anderson, Sabarino, pues los latinos, he ido como ye, ye, creando ambiente, porque obviamente venezolanos, ecuatorianos, casi las mismas costumbres de los colombianos, y pues eso... Me, me, me ayudó mucho también y, por, y poco a poco me, me voy adaptando. Mucho frío, mucho frío. Llegamos casi igual, así que yo siento lo mismo. Yo también, Andrés, qué problema. En términos de la adaptación, al principio fue muy difícil para mí, pero little by little, especially with the friendship of, of course, Anderson and Sava and mostly the Latin players, they have really helped me. And obviously, Venezuela and Ecuador is very similar to the Colombian atmosphere and the Colombian way of living. And of course, that helps. But also, the cold weather, the cold has been a little difficult. <laughs> Uh, this is for a question for both of you guys. What are you guys looking forward to come Wednesday for the U.S. Open Cup match? La pregunta es para los dos acerca de el partido el miércoles de Open Cup en Las Vegas. ¿Qué es lo que anticipan? Bueno, pienso que el profe ya estará pensando en ese partido. Sabemos que es un partido de eliminatoria y y debemos de ir a a ganar, eh, de imponer eh, con nuestro equipo. Eh, por supuesto, el profe ya elegirá los, los jugadores que estarán ahí para ese partido. Y bueno, esperemos y, y consigamos la victoria, que es lo más importante para seguir avanzando en la Copa también. Coaches are already thinking about that game, actually. It's a big game, and we need to go in there to win for our team. I think he already knows who will be traveling for that game, and it's important for us to go in there and do well to advance. Bueno, uh, enhorabuena a los dos por meter el gol. Y mi pregunta es para los dos de ustedes. Obviamente están nerviosos es para el miércoles. Y si meten gol, ¿vararían juntos los dos? The question was in regards to Wednesday's Open Cup game. If you guys score a goal each, will you both be dancing together? Maybe. Si me invita, si. <laughs> if he invites him to dance with him, <laughs> yes, he will be dancing together. Okay. Anyone via Zoom that has any questions? Dylan, anybody else? Listo. Thank you, thank you. Gracias.